know about this legacy. Yeah. Wednesday night tuned in to this legacy. Yeah. Mark and Will locked in on this legacy. Yeah. Mel and PIPZ in on this legacy. Yeah. Let's go. What you know about this legacy. Yeah. Wednesday night tuned in to this legacy. Yeah. Mark and Will locked in on this legacy. Yeah. Get your popcorn. I know you need this medicine. Yeah. Let's go. What's going on, people? How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Mark and Will Show, and you already know what's going to happen tonight. Anytime you hear that legacy, you know what's going down. It's definitely going to be mail or PRP, and the hint, if I'm out here by myself, you know it's going to be Bulldogs. So it's no plan, no plan at all. We're going to definitely talk about that. How was your day today? You know what I'm saying? Hump day. I hope everybody... You know what I'm saying? Was relaxed. We know it was the first day of school, and a lot of people are probably still waiting to uh, either get dropped off by the bus or whatever, which is ridiculous, but I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not in control of that. Um, I, like I said, I seen pictures with little kids on the drive in the driveway sleeping on backpacks, man. That's, whoo wee. I don't know what they need to do, but uh, something needs to happen. So I hope every uh, child got home safely, no problems. Um, all that kind of stuff, and I hope every kid had a great start of the day anyway, school year, you know, so you know what that means, football is here. Football is really, really here. So before we do this interview, I want to let you guys know where to find us, you know what I'm saying? You're on Facebook right now. Make sure you hit that follow button, that like button, and also share this interview, please, please, please. But at Mark and Will Show, Twitter, I know it's X, but it's Twitter to us. Of course, we always said Facebook, TikTok, you don't stop. Instagram, 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 YouTube. After this interview ends, it's going to be downloaded to YouTube, so you'll be able to check it out there. We got Mark and Will Gaming on Twitch, Mark and Will Gaming on YouTube. And we got the number one group, I don't care, bar none. It's getting close to 8,000 members. That's the Players Club. And actually, we will definitely have, uh, well, gonna try to have a soccer poll coming out uh probably monday or so because i know soccer is playing already so we want to make sure we take care of that so hey definitely go ahead and join those groups follow like all that good stuff let me see and you know excited let's get it let's get it cracking you know what i'm saying tonight shamai gates mel high school class of 24 receiver running back athlete am i missing anything shamai how you doing uh, I'm good. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Yo. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm like, I want to make sure everything running back, receiver, athlete. I heard you was playing some snaps on defense too, man. You, you all over the place, man. How's it feel to be, you know, because normally it was just the receiver. So how's it feel to be able to play these other positions, man? Uh, it really does feel good knowing that I'm, I'm able to go out there and do whatever I can. Uh, you know, help the team win. Uh, you know, it's you know senior year, so you trying to go out with a bang, trying to get their ring this year. You know, it's been kind of rough the past couple of years, but we, we expect to bring it home this year. I know that's right. I know that's right. And, you know, you hit it right on the head, man. As, as the seniors come on, especially, you know, it's like whatever you need me to do, I'm going to do it. Whatever position I need to play to get on the field and make things happen, let me put it in my hands. That's what seniors do. I told Shamai before we got on her, I kept on – Kept on trying to put him a grade behind. Kept on thinking he was a junior. Like I'm, I'm trying to give Coach Wolf another year of you, Shamai. But I know it's time for you to go, and that's why I got the name of this show Go Time because it's time to go ahead and rock and roll this year for sure, man. So after the season, man, and and, and things like that, how long did it take you to get over that uh, loss in the uh, championship game, man? Man, that, this year or last year's loss was that was heartbreaking. Uh, I really felt like we should have won that game, but uh, you know, it's, it's in the past now. But it, I, I think it probably took me a maybe a good couple months uh, to really like get over it. To be honest with you, it probably took all the way up until like summer workouts started again. Just knowing that I'm you know back in a new season, trying to make a new name. Yep. Right, right, right. Oh, and let me don't. 
Hey, I'm sorry, Hayworth, my, my guy, my guy. He's also a <laughs> basketball player. I'm sorry. He's, we be talking about football bar right now, but he's also on the basketball team big time. So, you know, so like you said, because I thought you were going to say, you know, maybe – a couple of weeks because you know I had basketball and all this stuff, but uh, mm-hmm. true competitor, it always irks you a little bit, man. Yeah, you know it sticks in the back of mind. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's all good, man. I understand. So doing that, like I said, you you play basketball. You know what I'm saying? You're doing that on a, a, a great team, also. So so you staying busy. You know, staying busy. Did I see? Was you did you do track last year too? Yes, sir. Oh man, you you're around, man. Are you tired, man? Yeah. I mean, did, did, when you, when did you get a break, Shabai? When did you get a break? <laughs> man, probably early early June, if if that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let everybody know. Let, let, let's walk it down real quick. So after football, I, I, how much rest do you get before basketball? Uh, I think before basketball, I think I maybe had like a week off. Uh, and then I got right back to work with the with the basketball team, and you know uh, I'm not sure if you followed our season or not, but we kind of we kind of had a rough start, but uh, we we really improved throughout the season, and it did. I mean, it didn't really end the way we wanted to, but it was still a good season no matter what. Oh yeah, so my man, come on man, I don't have your coach on here. That's my dog. I got to get coach Hayward <laughs> my guy, man. He's my dude. So yeah, because we talked about it, how the slow start, but you know. You guys was playing good teams, you know, and you're yeah. coming together, gelling, you know, things like that. Uh, so, no, nah, you guys rocked and roll, man. So, during this basketball season, you also have seven-on-seven seven rocking and rolling. So, mm. was you able to do any of that? So, at first, I, I was planning on doing seven-on-seven, seven, but as the season uh, kind of, you know, got to going, I kind of realized it was like, I didn't really have enough time to really do it because we had basketball on weekends. You know, I didn't want to interfere with any of the basketball stuff. So I wanted to make sure I was fully focused on, you know, playing basketball that year. Okay. So you didn't get really get to go into 707 to basically after the basketball season? Yep. Okay. So after the basketball season, how much break did you get? Or was that right? To, that was right to track, right? Uh, yep. It, it was. I know we ended basketball late March, and I think I started. I started track the day after spring break, so wow. I, th- I had that spring break off, and that was it. Wow! Wow! Goodness gracious! Okay, then, like you said, like, you know, seven on seven, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Like, that. did you did you do some uh, football camps too? Yep, I did do some in uh, June. Uh, I I went to Lindenwood's mega camp. I went to Miami, Ohio, mm-hmm. and then I went to Louisville as well. My goodness, you make me tired, man. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> goodness gracious. You know, it's so funny because, like I said, you know, over the couple of y'all games, talking about basketball, so I've seen you there and everything else. But just to know that whole timeline, man, that you just got a few weeks of, you know what I'm saying, to to breathe type thing. So now, now you rocking and rolling, man. So, you know, what's the outlook for the senior year, man? What, what's some of the goals you're trying to get uh, going into the senior year? Well, I mean, the main goal is, you know, win that state championship. Uh, it's, you know, I've, I've been at Mayo all four years now, and we haven't got one yet. And we've been to state championship every single time. So I think I think this year is really the year that we really need to capitalize on it, and we're going to go get it. Um, but some other goals, personally, uh, I feel like an undefeated season would be great. Uh, I would love to have an undefeated season with the state championship as well. That would be amazing. Right, right. Icing on top, for real, big time. Uh, also, I see that my guy, my guy, Keith, Keith Jones, uh, said that you got a 3.9 GPA, man. So you taking care of yes, business sir. all over the place, man. That's great. That's yes, big sir. time right there, man. That's, you know, that's what the colleges want to see. They want to make sure you take care of them um, grades, man. And seem like you're doing that too. And baby, you know, that right there, you're, you're a prime example, a role model that people need to see that you playing all these different sports and you taking care of business in the classroom, man. I, Hey man, that that's 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 great stuff, man. For real, for real. Thank you. That's right. We, just, hey, <laughs> we don't give them out too much, too many times on the show, man. You know, on the regular show we do, but on this one, man, for real, for real, that, that's that's great stuff. Thank you for the scoop, uh, Keith. Big time like that. So, being that you, like I said, man, you you just busy rock and rolling. So how how. How's it been going playing, doing running back and splitting time with, you know, running back and uh, receiver? How's the running back stuff going? 
Oh, uh, well, at first it was kind of, it was, yeah, it was a little shaky start. I hadn't played running back since, you know, middle school, I think seventh grade. And so it was, it, it took a, maybe about a couple of weeks to get really back in the groove of it. But now, now I'm really starting to like shape up to it. And I really am starting to like it now. Okay. Is the mentality different? Oh, it definitely is. You know, you got a lot more like physicality and hitting mm-hmm. than you do a, you would a receiver. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of really had to like develop the mindset of a running back as well. Man, so we talking about uh, my Bulldogs might have a Debo Samuel on the team or something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, I mean, yeah. you know, you know, because once you get in that mind frame, you know, you're going to run hard. I mean, I'm not saying you didn't run hard, but like you said, physical, the physicality of it. So you talking about when you catch the ball. Even though, you know what I'm saying, you still gonna have that like, hey man, you know, let me oh, go yeah. ahead and do what I gotta do. So that's that's good stuff. So like I said, I, I you know, we got the athlete on there. So, you know, being that you played uh what what kind of stuff are you doing on defense? Uh at the moment I was playing uh strong safety or we call it rover. Oh yeah. And then I was I was I was working in a little bit of uh linebacker as well. Ooh wee, that's what I like to hear, man. That's what I'm talking about. All over the place. Also doing uh, some of that defense. Oh man, yeah, yeah. That's that's tough, man. That's I salute you on that for real. That's a lot of people. You know, does it make a difference? I mean, I know you receiver by nature. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. Does it? You know, is that is that the calling card? Is that the A one that you want to do over everything? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, at the moment, it probably is, but you know, we still got a whole season ahead of us. Depending on how this running back stuff goes, I might, I might feel like I really, like I'm probably better at running back, and I might want to go to college play running back. Who, who knows? It's time will tell. Okay, cool, cool. All right, that's good stuff. All right, so Shamai, how old were you when you started playing sports? Oh, as I could only think I could remember at the time. It was it was young because I know my uh, my granddaddy had me down on the couch when I was very little uh, playing with a basketball. So and I, you know my dad, you know I always had me with the football as well. So I was I was always involved in sports even when I was newborn, basically. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I know that's right. So little league sports stuff. So what different sports did you play? I know you did football, you did basketball, and what else? You do anything else? I did do soccer and and baseball at, or t ball at the time, but I didn't really stick with it. Uh, I didn't really feel like I was, you know, the best at it. But <laughs> that's all right, man. What what league? What uh, leagues was you playing in, man? What you? Uh, I I think they both were the YMCA. I I I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure they both were the YMCA. Okay. What is your best youth league sports memory? Probably um, 2013 uh, when I was playing with East End Warriors uh, Little League football. Uh, we had our we had our finish strong championship, and I was actually playing safety at the time. And we it was the it was tie game. No, no, we were up by one point. It was seven to six, and time's running down the clock. And the other team had the ball. They were on the goal line, and I got the game winning stop to win the game as the clock ran out. And I think. It was just, it was kind of magical. I don't know. It was it was magical. Right. What position on defense were you playing? I was playing safety. Safety, safety. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you kind of threw me off, man. I thought you was gonna go, man. Hey, I caught this pass and took it, <laughs> took it a thousand yards. He said, but I like that, though, no, man. Okay, like that safety. I I think I might be seeing you out there doing that safety work, man. You know what I'm saying? Your best memory in childhood was that. So I, yeah, yeah. So. You know, you play all these sports, all these sports you currently play, man. So this, this is kind of different. So let's let's go ahead and um, – is football your first love or – you know, because some of us football players love basketball. So what's going on, man? If you if you had to rank them, what, what, what are you ranking them? Man, so at, if you would have asked me this a couple of years ago, I probably definitely would have said basketball. Um, <laughs> my first love was basketball at the time, but – I realize that football is really my passion now. And I think if I had to rank it, football is probably going to be on top at the moment. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Now you dibble dabbled in track, man. So uh, how, how you like, how you like track? Uh, So yeah, I, I actually did like track. It was, it, 
I mean, the running part where the running part was fine, but it was more like just the socialization, like being at the track meets, you know, like seeing other people go out there and run, handle their business, and like just just hanging out with like you know friends and getting closer to people. I, that's what I really liked about track. Right, right, cool, cool, yeah, because it's a it's a million people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, and them tents and everything else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what middle school did you attend? Uh, I went to Barrett Traditional Middle School. Very traditional. So, how was you guys, man? Because uh, you know, we we I don't heard the Johnson side, and I heard Jersey TMS. So I've heard some birds. So, who were some of the bird uh, teammates that's with you now? Uh, at the right, right now, uh, we have uh, Bryce Strickland, uh, you know, Coulter Smith, mm-hmm. um, and then we had Antonio Harris. So yeah, and then we had a, we had a bunch of linemen as well, like Spike, right. uh, you know, Isaiah. Yep, all of them. And yeah, that's really, you know, it's a bunch more, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, did y'all win a championship or what, man? Because I mean, you know. So, my uh, seventh grade. Did, oh, wait a minute. I did Westport win them all. Man, Westport was really hard to beat. I, I can't even lie. <laughs> Westport was hard to beat. But uh, I know my seventh grade year, we did end up going to the championship and losing to Westport. But um, I didn't end up playing my eighth grade year due to, um, because I was in the hospital. But. Okay. I went back out freshman year, so. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, man. I mean, it's been some teams, man. I done heard some I heard some players name from Bird Johnson, uh, JC TMS, and, and I'm, I'm where the championship at, man. I mean, I the man. AD, the A. I'm gonna get on him, Theo Bellamy, the AD for Westport. It used to be um, one of my teammates at Mail. So I'm, you know, come on, man. You know. <laughs> Let these let these guys get some of them championship, <laughs> Theo. Quit playing. That's ridiculous. So, at uh, Bird, what sports did you play? Was it? Um, yeah, what sports did you play at Bird? At Bird, I played football and basketball. What position at uh, um, basketball did you play at Bird? Uh, on that, and my seventh and eighth grade year, I was playing point guard. Oh, okay, okay, shifty. Okay, got, got them That's handles. It. Okay, yeah, so right. at Bird. Uh, was it a receiver? Uh, in seventh grade, I started. I was at running back, but then you know I was behind Daniel Sweeney and uh, Antoine Weathers. So I had, and I saw a spot of receiver that it was easily able to be taken. So I took my chance, and that's when I became a receiver. Shamai, now, and I, I don't, I know I did say now, and you know, y'all ain't win no championship at Bird, man. I, I I know it was. Uh, we should have. We should have. Goodness gracious! Uh, and I I think we ended up losing seventh grade championship by a touchdown as well. It was, I think it was the last second touchdown we ended up losing. Oh my gosh! Oh okay okay. All right. Being that you're so busy doing these different sports, are you? Have you played AAU? I did. I I used to play AAU. I think from. Third grade all the way up until freshman year, I played AAU um, mainly for the Louisville Magic, but okay. before that was also the Kentucky Kings as well. Okay, cool, cool. Seven on seven. Let everybody know who you play for. Five oh two. Got to represent. That's right, big time. <laughs> five oh two. How many years did you play for uh, five, uh, with five oh two? I've been playing with five oh two since my freshman year. So after after I got finished with AAU basketball, I went straight over to five oh two. Yep. Wow. Ooh-wee. So let's do it this way. Let's start off with football, man. How did 7-on-7 seven seven help your game? I I personally think 7-on-7 seven seven helped me as a receiver, especially because it was a good time to, you know, develop your game and just really, like, working on your routes, working on timing, especially with the quarterback, especially if your quarterback goes to the same school as you, like, with culture. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it really helps with timing. And then also uh, confidence-wise as well. Being able to make catches in traffic, all that, it, it builds into the season. And it really does help you during the season. That's good stuff. So, <clears throat> what's the um, – I mean, because I know in AAU, a lot of people say, you know, uh, you know, it's a difference because, you know, you, you know, of course, there's different athletes. It's a lot faster and stuff. So, is seven on seven? Does that carry the same thing that you're getting uh, exposed to different type of athletes? You know what I'm saying? You know, the cream of the crop versus playing against you know some people that you know you probably whooped up on on Friday night. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially when we were traveling, we were traveling all around, you know, down to Florida. We played some of the best talent, you know, the Florida boys. You hear about the Georgia boys, all of them, the Alabama kids, all of them. You hear about all of them. So it was a good chance to really, like, test yourself against the best. Yeah, that's good stuff. Make sure everybody hit that follow button, like button, share this video, all that good stuff. So what made you pick Mel High School? So I know my eighth grade year, um, I had to, I think I had the choices between manual and male. And I went to male's open house. No, I went to manual's open house first. And then I was like, it was, it was all right. And then I went to male. I seen all the stuff and I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't even got, I don't even got to discuss it anymore. That's exactly where I'm going. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, we, uh, brothers of uh, football, we appreciate you for uh, joining the family uh, big time. So, Shamaya, how would you describe your game? Uh, well, now I feel like I'm more like a as, – as a running back now, I feel I'm more elusive, one cut, you know, get up through the hole and burst out to make a big play. But even as a receiver, though, I feel like I was more of like a deep threat, you know, uh, go down there and get it. Uh, you know, also a physical receiver is too as well because I'm more built like a running back. So like all the blocking stuff at receiver came more natural to me. I was I was I was a very good blocker over the past season. Okay, so you know let's let's don't leave out. How about safety, man? I know you did both down there. How would you describe your game as a safety? Safety, I'm more of I say I'm more of a ball hawk, just because as a receiver, you know, receiver side, you know, you always want to you know go up there and catch that interception, all of that type of stuff. Right, right. That's good stuff. So. We'll, we'll start it this way. Which football player do you enjoy watching and that you try to maybe emulate? As a as a receiver, I always wanted to be like Calvin Johnson. I knew I wasn't going to have the height, but I always wanted to be like Calvin Johnson. But as a running back, I really emphasize Le'Veon Bell. Like his patience is like, mm. it's beautiful. The way he's able to just sit back there and just read a hole and just take off is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, that's good. Yeah, but that, all right, you know, two sport athlete, really three sports. So how about uh basketball? Who do you look at though? Hmm. Basketball, that's that's a tough one. Uh I say my I think I started really looking up to more like Russell Westbrook in his prom, you know, uh, because I was more, you know, a downhill type player, aggressive, trying to get to the rim type player. You know what? I know you follow basketball. Just for the simple fact, you said Westbrook in his prime. So don't mm-hmm. don't don't give me Westbrook <laughs> clanging and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't be running no video back saying a Westbrook that you see now throwing up stuff that's not even. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's big time. So you know, being that you know, what I'm saying you. You know, legacy you come from, you know, father uh, running back big time at the the Ville and stuff like that. Was it? Did you did you feel any pressure playing football? Uh, I feel like maybe when I was younger, I kind of had the pressure of playing football. But I feel like as I've grown up or I've gotten older now, uh, it's kind the pressure. I mean, it's gone away, but I'm able to deal with pressure more. Or like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm probably it would deal with more pressure now, and it's I don't really see it as pressure anymore. I see it as just like encouragement. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Yeah, big time. So, <clears throat> how confident are you before before the games, man? How confident are you? Oh, uh, before the games, like like maybe a day or so before, I'm I, you know, I'm pumped. I'm you know, I'm ready to go. And but you know when uh. We get out there for warm ups, you know, you start to get a little a little nervous <laughs> until that first snap is. Once that first snap is, that's when everything's like, all right, here we go. Time to go. Right. And right, then every, right. all that stuff just leaves and and yeah, it, it's just be that, you know, that that warm ups that right before the game, you get a little nervous. You're like, ooh, all right. right okay. Right, all right. right. <laughs> nah, that's that's yeah, for real, for real. That's real mm-hmm. talk. You know what I'm saying? People are like, I don't mm-hmm. get nervous. Okay. I mean, you know, that's that nervous energy, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like you said, once it's on, then it's on. So yeah. Yeah. So what do you focus on, man, when you playing like you know, like technique or what 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 do you focus on? Uh now I'm starting to really focus on uh just making sure I make the right play. Like I want to make sure like I give myself and my team the best opportunity to score and win the game. 
you know, <clears throat> being that, you know what I'm saying, like I said, playing different position and things like that, um, going back from, you know, receiver to running back, are you are you comfortable now that, you know, I always say play fast, and a lot of people play fast when they know what they're doing. Are you ca- mm-hmm. uh, capable now of playing fast as a running back? Yes, I do feel like I am capable now. Uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, I probably wasn't. But uh, now I feel like I really am like getting into the groove of the running back position. Right, right. So we hit on, we hit on this a little bit before, but um, how does playing in the state finals last year prepare you for this year, man? It really, it really puts a chip on your shoulder. Eh? Like, especially losing in the state finals all those years, it really does put a chip on your shoulder, especially for your senior year. But it really – developed me because you know you're going up against the best of the best even before the state finals in the state playoffs like you got you got to do that long hard road of, of those games and you know especially when it's cold outside and the teams are really good you got to make sure you grind it out and win those games and even in the state championship you know you got the the big lights you at the kentucky stadium you got all the fans all the people there supporting you and i, I really feel like it, it sets you up for bigger things in life well i mean I got you on her. You know, I, I I was there for these games, but you know what I'm saying? You actually played in these games, man. Let's start with the same next playoff game, man. What was your what was your thought process when you guys went for two and and uh took care of business? You know what I'm saying? Max and uh, Antonio, what was your thought of that? I was well, I was so nervous that oh I was that's probably one of the nervous the most nervous times I've ever been. Like it was I don't, I don't even know what to think about it. I just remember seeing uh, throw it and they caught it, and I was like, "Oh man, we we get ready to win the game. We, this is it." <laughs> yeah, that was woo. That was different. So Ballard's game. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I, I'm right there by the pylon, and I thought you guys scored before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm like, oh okay, cool. And heads are down, people are mad and everything. Then all of a sudden, a gift came through the line. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What, what would you think? What, what were you hey, thinking about that, man? What so, so I was on the sideline, and it was so after we had, you know, we didn't make it across the plane. I was like, dang, like, is this really the end right here? Like, is this the end of our season? Mm-hmm. And then you know, our defense comes out there, and they they get the fumble recovery, and I was. I, I, at first, I was in shock. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really know what happened. I just seen like, I just seen everybody running around, like <laughs> celebrating, and I was just like, "Oh, we did it!" <laughs> I didn't really know what happened at first. Right, right. That was that was two games that, yeah, blew my mind. So, what is your favorite part of the game? Um, of which game? No, this period of football. Let, let's do. Oh. What's your favorite part of football? Okay, my favorite part of football is probably. Uh, I, I mean, I, I if in the past I probably would have said probably like scoring, making plays, but now I really my favorite part of football is probably just the grind and just making memories along the way. Mm-hmm. Cool. What's your favorite part of uh, favorite part about basketball? Favorite part about basketball is it's really just having fun. I like it's I just I just go out and have play basketball just to have fun. You know, just just do my thing out there. Right, right. What position does uh you what position do you play on basketball? It's point guard and shooting guard. Okay, because I know when you guys come in there, man, y'all playing some defense big time. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh okay. yeah, I look, defense. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of people say they don't like you know they don't really play defense in basketball, but nah, that's my favorite part of the game right there. That, right. that, that probably is my favorite part. Coming in there, locking up their best player. Yeah, yeah, that's that's tough right there. So, so my what in in football. What do you feel you need to improve on? Uh, I probably feel like I probably need to improve on probably just my patience. Sometimes I do feel like I, I tend to rush things, um, it's whether it's like a, a injury or even even like in the plays. I feel like sometimes I run it back. I'll come through there too fast and maybe mm-hmm. see I'll see an open hole and I'll take it, but it will close up and another hole will open where whether if I would have been more patient. I probably could have hit that hole and probably made a, a bigger play. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Are you like, um, 
you know, we talk about Megatron being so, uh, you know, are you, and you talk about Le'Veon Bell, are you looking at videos or different stuff? I, I know Mel always, you know, tape you guys and you guys do film study, but, you know, are you looking at other stuff? Like, you know, trying to get back in the field because you did play running back, but this trying to get back because, you know, that vision is very key at yeah. running back. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like my, my phone got like a little, little tracker or something on me because as soon as I started talking about like playing running back, I seen a bunch of like all the running back videos pop up. And I was like, ooh, that's that's kind of crazy. But I mean, I watched them though. And, you know, my dad was also a running back. So I, yeah. I, 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 I take a lot of info from him as well. I was great to say, I, I, the, the, you, got the, you got the library right there. Yeah. Yep. Big time. Yeah. So that, that's good to know that you can go to your father and say, hey, man, you know, what do you see? What do you think? And all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's definitely a good thing to have. Um, what fun things do you like to do besides sports? Uh, well, I love to travel. Uh, anytime we travel, I just I, I love being there just for like the, the trip, like especially going on planes and stuff. I love being at the airport, all that type of stuff. But even besides that, I I'm known to, you know, I'm more like a chill, laid back person. But whenever I like like that, like I'm, I'm kind of I like dancing. I, I say that I like dancing <laughs> and dancing and singing like I you, you get the right song on. I'll probably sing every single word of it. Dance along with it. <laughs> are you doing karaoke man what's going on i i definitely do some karaoke <laughs> what what song hey you doing karaoke what song what's your go-to song my go-to song right now is definitely crooked smile by j cole okay okay cool <laughs> cool ain't nothing wrong with that so check this out man we you know of course you know legacy is definitely for male and prp and we definitely put the the Bulldogs on here as much as possible, you know, maybe because it's me, I'm biased. But um, who are some of the players, man? Some of the some, some of the young players that that people don't know about, but they will know about. Oh, for sure, my running back duo, Chase Burton. He's like, he's definitely gonna be the truth after, especially after I graduate, and he's gonna be that, you know, he's that secure number one running back. He's gonna he's gonna be the truth. But even uh, my little cousin, Colin Jefferson. He's he's gonna be a dog as well at receiver, and oh, yeah. then even like Steron Davis, and I know he's been flipping around from offense to defense lately, and like we we have a bunch of young talent. It's like it is a lot of young talent that we have, and especially like you know I mean you you've seen Spike before, and oh, even yeah. like his O line like Isaiah, all that, all of them like they're they're gonna be really really good whenever they get older. Right, right. Yeah, I know Collins pops. Yeah. Oh yeah, Corey. Yes, sir. Without a doubt. Yeah. So you know, you know. So I've been seeing a lot of videos of him taking care of business, and that's good. That you know, what what kind of advice do you give the young ones? You know, what I'm saying that you know, maybe not scratching the surface yet, but you know, they got to be patient. So what kind of advice do you give to the, those teammates? Oh yeah, I just I try to you know just encourage them as much as I can, knowing that you know. Especially when you're young, you might not be getting the, the playing time that you want and stuff like that. It's, it's all about encouragement, and especially when they make the right play that you congratulate. Let let them know that they all right. So what you did right here, that was good. But also give them some words of like criticism as a constructive criticism. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you did this, it was good, but you can also do this, and that might be even better. So you know, it's, it's it's all about just developing developing them. Um, and it, they do a really good job at listening as well, especially like uh, as they see me as like a leader. Uh, they do a really good job at just like taking in what I tell them and, you know, just applying it to what they know. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, definitely needed because, you know, it's a microwave society and uh, a lot of people don't realize, you know, like sometimes it's OK to be patient and wait your turn. You know, you you know, you done played with quite a few players, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and I know I have has been going on forever that, well, you know, I I, I left mail because I, you know, I want to, you know, they had too many, you know, instead of that patient, you know what I'm saying, because everybody don't get to start when you first step on the field at mail. Mm -hmm. And that's not a bad thing. That's okay. You know, learn, you know what I'm saying? You know, earn your, earn your spot, rock and roll. And so... And, and I love it, like how you said, you know, you've been, you know, um, doing your thing. And I love when I hear seniors talk about, you know, hey, put me anywhere. Like, this is it. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. urgency, that urgency, it's, it's no next year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As far as high school ball. So let me go ahead and, and act 
actually, you guys, you know, you're still young and you, you know, you're still playing. So when it's all said and done, and you guys are probably around my age now, and you can be able to look back to see how many state championships that you guys even been to as far as you know, final game. You know, you do know that that doesn't happen all the time. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You do know that you you talk to people who went the mail and never sniff a playoff game or a playoff win and things like that in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In the 90s, it started turning it around. We started going and doing stuff like that. But for you to say pretty much every year, I played in the last game. Now, we know. We know y'all want to win. We understand that big time. So, you know, go get that championship this year. I, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you know, go get that. But you guys are having a, a heck of remarkable uh, record. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stuff that people don't do. People haven't done yep. that in a long time. Five straight championship yep. games. That's unheard of, man. That's unheard of. So let's go ahead and take care of this one for sure, for sure. Oh, let's yeah, go on and sure. bring, bring this for real, for real. So what you got, man? Bat who you got? Batman or Superman? Uh, I think I got, I think in this situation, I think I probably got Batman. Okay, okay. Uh, why is that? I don't know. I Batman, he just he's got that like mysterious type personality to him. He's like and he, he's just super aggressive too. Like it's the aggressiveness, I just be like, man, he like <laughs> he's gonna make sure the city's gonna be right by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The bad <laughs> signal big time. Tacos or pizza, man? Uh I probably have to go with pizza. Uh I love pizza. Uh, I I eat I eat pizza any day, you know. Where you getting it from? Eh, it depends. Um, I probably usually would get it from uh, Papa John's, just because I also I, and it's not even because of the pizza; it's because of the cinnamon pull aparts. <laughs> I, I I love their cinnamon pull aparts, and they be having the little deals on them too. So I'd be like, "Ooh, let me, let me go get that one too." <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Who you rolling with, Tatum or Moran? Definitely Jason Tatum. Like he's like the way he's able to just create his own shot off the dribble and just like close out a game is crazy. I like I like I really do like it. Nothing wrong with that. Jimmy John's Penn Station. I actually haven't had too much Jimmy John's. I, I've always been a Penn Station type guy, and like my dad always takes me to Penn Station, so I think I'm gonna go with Penn Station. On yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, big time. Let's see here. Qdoba Chipotle. That's a that's a tough one. Uh I think I think I'm gonna have to go with uh Qdoba on this one. Just because uh I used to get their quesadillas over there and they used to be the best thing <laughs> ever. I used to love eating them. <laughs> I know that's right. Do you even have time for this, man? Cause you're so busy. PlayStation or Xbox? Um, well, back when I was younger, I used to always, you know, get on the game. You know, you back when your childhood, you used to always, you right. know, play on the game all night long. But right. I definitely PlayStation. Uh okay. definitely PlayStation. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like I said, I know you you, you know, taking care of business. R man, Black Panther. You know you gotta show out and support Black Panther all the way. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh Popeye's Chick fil A. Uh, I'd probably go with Chick Fil A, just because you know it's right around the corner from the house, and uh, yeah, I'll be there all the time as well. Right, right. Yeah. And I'll say this, man, and I and, and I know people do have hiccups, but I ain't never had no hiccups with Chick Fil A. Uh, not but at I, all. They be efficient. Yes, yes. Get you in and out, and there'd be a thousand mm. cars. Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Half the time, their lights ain't even on. <laughs> 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 Kobe and LeBron, man. LeBron, I think I, the only reason I say that because it's it's the stuff that LeBron does on the court, but like the stuff that he does on the court is is like is you know the great, but the stuff that he does off the court as well, where really like sets him apart from these other players that play have played the game. Got you, got you. Nothing wrong with that. Mm, let's go this way. NBA young boy. I love baby. What y'all listen? What y'all gonna be bumping Friday, man? What's going man, on? Man, I don't, I don't, I don't really know yet. But uh, I personally, out of these two, 
Mm-hmm. I used to I used to not like NBA Young Boy at all. I used to hate him. I used to be like, <laughs> I can't stand him. I don't even want to listen to him. Don't even turn him on. I'm gonna tell you to skip it. <laughs> but I, I, I he's starting to grow on me a little bit. But I think I'm gonna go with Lil Baby. Right, right, man. Who's picking the music, man? Who picks the music? Uh, man, mainly it'd be the defense. But you know, they you know they be having they little they be getting hype all that type of stuff. <laughs> I, I be having the headphones in, so I, okay, okay. I don't really okay. pay too much attention to it. Okay, cool, cool. Ah, uh, this is the Mr. Malone question. Drums are flat. Definitely drums. I okay. I think they're just easier to eat. I don't know. I just I feel like they're way easier to eat. Now see, the last two linemen decided they want to have talk about flats, <laughs> and I it just blows my mind. You know what I'm saying? Drums, like you say, you can dip it. You know, what I'm yep. you ain't got to worry about fighting. You just suck it on off and all that. But that, yeah. it, it kind of blew my mind. So we got a a running back receiver safety. Gets it right, drums. What sauce yeah. you using, man? I don't know. Uh, it it depends on, I guess, where I got it from. Uh, most of the time, I probably go with ranch, but I also okay. go barbecue as well. Okay, cool, cool. All right, man. Hey, let me give you an opportunity, man, to thank everybody who's played an important role in your life so far, man. Man, I, I really want to especially thank my mom. You know, today's her birthday, actually. So happy, uh, birthday. happy birthday, mom. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday. mom. Uh, I want to thank my dad as well. You know, he's been a full part of me for this journey. And he's also really helped me, especially with the football. It, as, mm-hmm. I guess that's really big on that. And then I really, really want to thank my grandparents. My grandparents have been like my second parents. And I just like I love them to death. And like even all my immediate family, my aunt Karen, Aunt Portia, all my uncles, like they've always been a very supportive family. They, like, they've been at all my all my sporting events as were the ones that they can make it to, of course. But they've been at just about all that type of stuff. And even yeah. even Keith, yeah, you know, I gotta gotta give it up to Keith because he's like some of the you know the inside information he gives me is really like I'd be like, okay, yeah, I never thought about it that way. Right, right. That's good stuff, Keith. Man, you didn't. Uh... You didn't help me when we was when I was pitching to you, brother. Like, <laughs> you, you kept on telling me throw the fastball, not the curve or the slider, but that's okay, man. I, I still love you. You know you my, you're my brother. But hey, man, you know what? The season is is like I said, it's time to go. It's go time. It's go time. So wish you nothing but the best. Can't wait to get out there to see you, man. Do your thing. I know you got a big season headed your way, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna holler at your boys. I'll be out there uh, Friday. Be out there on the yes, field. Sir. Check you guys out, man. Take care of business. But, hey, God bless, man, and thank you for joining me tonight. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. That's what it is, man. Hey, got the grades, play every sports, known the man. Hey, nothing but the greatness awaits that young man. So, hey, let me tell you guys real quick. Um, I'm trying to pull it up real quick. So, tomorrow – no show, no Mark and Will show. But the good thing is, we're actually gonna be doing we're gonna be doing big things, Kentucky. So we're gonna be on their show. Uh, I'll I'll definitely hit the link, and we're gonna preview high school football. So we're gonna you know maybe to talk about what's going on, who's gonna be doing what, and all that kind of stuff. What we think. So make sure you uh, check it out. But go ahead and follow, like the Mark and Will show, our pages and things like that. We appreciate you. Be back next week and actually going to have a special announcement dropping any day now. So, hey, out of here. Check you guys later. Peace.